that Emma Watson and Jennifer Lawrence have been nominated for a 2018 Golden Raspberry Award. The trio are on a list of nominees for a 2018 Golden Raspberry, an award dished out for the worst acting performances of the previous year. In the actress category for 2017, nominations include former Harry Potter star Watson for The Circle, Lawrence for Mother, and Dakota Johnson's much maligned stint in Fifty Shades Darker. Meanwhile, Emma won't be the only representative from these islands helping to lose out, as Belfast-born Jamie Dornan is in the worst actor category, again for Fifty Shades Darker. Johnny Depp is up for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales and Cruise for the Mummy are also in the mix, alongside double nominee Mark Wahlberg, for Daddy's Home 2 and Transformers. The last night, Getter's Andra Bullock collected her Raspberry Award in 2009, a day before winning her Oscar. We all have to support journalists and call out attempts to control their work and to delegitimize the organizations that give them work. Meryl Streep, the annual ceremony, which takes place on March 3rd, just a day before the Oscars, is often snubbed by the A-listers. However, at least some have a sense of humor and have attended in previous years. In 2009 Sandra Bullock accepted the Worst Actress Award for All About Steve, ironically the night before winning the Best Actress Oscar for The Blind Side, while Halle Berry also turned up to collect her gong for Catwoman in 2005. Meryl Streep posts her support for journalism Getty Meryl Streep says more needs to be done to protect journalists and their organizations Meryl Streep has spoken of her affinity for journalists, after starring in new political thriller The Post. The film details the true story of how investigative reporters published documents about U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. At a preview for the film, out last Friday, Meryl, who plays Washington Post heiress Catherine Graham, was asked if she was fan of journalism. I certainly have been supportive of their committee to protect journalists. I think the organizations that do specifically protect journalists whose lives are in danger are really important, says the 68-year-old. But supporting journalists, all of whom, in my opinion, are underpaid for the service they do. Yes, we all have to support them and to call out the attempts by powerful interests to control their work and to legitimize the organizations that give them work. I feel that more than ever right now. Smith's trio reunite for classical gigs get a Johnny Marr performs on stage at the El Rey Theater in Los Angeles, California. Three members of the Smiths are to reunite on stage for the first time in three decades. Ex-drummer Mike Joyce, former bassist Andy Rourke and ex-guitarist Craig Gannon are teaming up with the Manchester Camerato Orchestra, for Classically Smiths, first for a series of concerts and then a full UK tour, in what's being billed as a reimagining of the Manchester band. Famed for the songwriting partnership, as well as the often far from harmonious relationship between Morrissey and Johnny Marr, the group which formed in 1982 are often referred to as one of the most important independent British bands to emerge from that era, they are still cited by a host of current musicians, including the likes of Noel Gallagher and Radiohead, as being hugely influential in their careers. Yet as a Relton John admitted that he became selfish and self-centered at the height of his addiction Sir Elton John's struggle to deal with the trappings of fame is what he believes to be the biggest factor in his substance, abuse. The 70-year-old has previously admitted to losing a big part of his life to drink and drugs, before eventually knocking alcohol and cocaine on the head in 1990, and he now says, fame which at first sight looks like a blessing, soon revealed itself as also a curse. My essential humanity began to dissolve into an excess of drugs and alcohol. I am afraid I reacted very badly. I became a loathsome person, selfish, self-centered and disconnected. That amounts to a painful second lesson, one I learned by doing it all wrong. Joe Hale slash Getty Jerry Horner, formerly Halley Well, won't be doing Strictly any time soon Emma Bunton might have given it a whirl in 2006 but it's clear that Jerry Horner really 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 doesn't want a stint on Smoke Shield.